Hey James, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video from camp. We're going to go through and talk a little bit about your mechanics and and uh, sort of look at a couple spots for you. Um, basically for you, you know, it's just a matter of, of using that lower half a little bit more, getting a little bit more extended down the mound, um, and then we'll kind of go from there and, and we'll look at each sort of spot. We're going to look at your setup. And look at your foot strike, and we're gonna look at how you're releasing. There's a little bit of, of a way that you can do to to get your legs in a little bit more, and I'll, and I'll explain a little bit more about that. All right. So we'll go back here uh, to this first one, and just look at your overall setup. All right. So what basically what what we like to look at here um, is keying off your head and your balance. So what we look for. When you start, your head doesn't pop out of that ball, all right? So you can see that circle, that head pops out backwards, all right? So try to get to a point where your setup already back here waits over that back foot before you get going, all right? So now, you know, it's going to look, instead of here, now you just shift your hips from here. So now they're right in the middle of the, of the line there, all right? That's all it is. That's an easy fix. It'll help you out tremendously, all right? So now you're not moving backwards through your delivery, all right? So now you lift your leg. Let me draw another box over your head so we can see sort of what happens. Do you drop out of that box again, all right? A little bit. You get a little bit of a drop, all right? Usually we like to try to stay a little bit taller. We don't get our power from flexing our knee a whole lot. We get power from our hips, all right? We get power from load on that inside part of that knee on our right foot, but we're getting it from our lower half, all right? So try to stay a little bit taller. And also another easy, easy thing is once this leg starts up, eyes on the target, all right? It doesn't seem like that would make a whole lot of difference, but it does, all right? Believe me, it does. So just getting that habit, all right? So there's the initial setup. So once we get to this point, now what we want to see is our hips going forward. We want to see a nice, tall posture, all right? We don't want to see this foot start to swing out at all, all right? So as we click forward, you can see you drop out of that out of that box a little bit. So you're just getting a little bit too droppy at times, all right? You want to try to stay up a little bit taller, and what you're going to see happen is that foot strike, which is right here, is you can probably get a whole nother foot and a half of stride length. So all that does for you is that just causes you to, to land short and to land out on your front foot, all right, instead of loaded up still on your back leg. So we want to try to see, you know, you might get more extended back out here instead of where you're at right now, all right. So you're just cutting yourself off a whole lot. You're staying back, which is good, all right. Now we want to get stride down the mound. Now we want to get some extension. All right, so then we can we can finish and, and throw. So through that release point, all right, your front side, once you cue it on, on this left side, you can see how this kind of rotates down, and then as you throw, you basically kind of throw, are throwing uphill. All right, so your, your ball path kind of goes from here to here pretty quickly up. So all that is, is is your arms a little bit late. We want to try to see it um, up here a little bit more at foot strike, maybe up around this area. So then that ball doesn't have a whole lot of up. It's going to go downhill instead of getting pushed up. All right. So now it's just kind of getting pushed up. And it looks like this one, this pitch may actually have gotten pretty close to going over the catcher's head or something. All right. So that's just it's just getting pushed uphill, whereas through that release point, we want to try to see you stay back foot on the ground straight all the way through that front foot. All right, so now your head's out over that front foot, your chest is out over that front foot, you're driving, you're using all that momentum, all that power in your legs, and now you're releasing the ball right here, and now that ball's going this way instead of, you know, that way up. All right, and so just stay through that back leg a little bit more, so you can use all that lower half. That's where that velocity comes from, all right? So one other thing, too, we, we want to look at and talk about going back here is your lower half hip-shoulder separation. So what you're seeing, I kind of told you about your, 
your left side popping open early. So when it pops open early, what that does is that causes your, um, let me use a different box here, but that causes your hips and your shoulders to turn at the same time. All right, this one kind of skips that frame. Um, but at this point, we'd want to see that elbow out a little bit higher and that glove out over that front foot a little bit more. All right, that's going to keep you closed. That's going to make your hip do the work to turn you open. That's going to generate some more power. All right, let me go and take a look at this next one to see if we can get a little better look at your foot strike. All right, so again, curling here before that foot hits the ground. All right, curling here. We'd still want to see elbow out there. All right, so now you're throwing uphill. That one looks like it's a little bit better. But well, we want to try to get more downhill with the ball. All right. Um, Torque-wise, this one looks like we'll be able to see a little bit more. So what we want is basically we want our right hip to start first going towards the catcher, and then that shoulder comes through. And you can see how everything goes at the same time. All right. And this is something big. This is a big strength thing that you're going to get better at as you get a little bit older. Um, but sort of being aware of it now, all that is is just a matter of getting striding out here. You know, the more you can kind of stride out, the more you can get in those legs, the easier that torque's going to come. And, you know, it's just going to make life a whole lot easier as you get older and get stronger. So, anyways, hopefully you uh, had a great time at camp. Thanks for making it out. Good luck this season. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again with ABC.